Hey, what's up? Just got my move bumper delivered today. Um, way ahead of schedule, like, I think it was at least a week ahead of schedule. I wasn't expecting it this soon, so that's pretty awesome. I'm just stoked. It's gonna go on my uh, 2001 Ford Excursion. Um, I'll take a picture of that here in a little bit uh, without the bumper, and then uh, I'm gonna do a little vid of the uh, build. But anyway, I wanted to, as I started unwrapping this thing, I was thinking, oh man, I need to get some uh, video of the unwrapping here. So um, I already started, you can kind of see, it comes in a couple of pieces, the big front piece, and then a box. Um, one thing I didn't think about is that uh, this thing weighs uh, over 70 pounds, this box is, and I'm not sure what the piece of steel plate is. Um, it probably told me in the shipping, and I didn't pay attention to it, but my post office was not very happy with me about that, so uh, something to keep in mind. Anyway, um, as you open the cardboard box, it's uh, all completely cased in foam. Pretty cool idea. Uh, they put all the pieces in there, wrapped it in plastic, and then put spray foam in there to keep it all from moving around. Pretty cool idea. Kind of a pain in the butt to get busted apart and uh, get to the pieces, but uh, that's a good idea anyway. Um, anyhow, they're all in here, and uh, we're going to get them out and sort them out. Okay, got it all unwrapped. Here it is. Pretty cool. All the pieces I need to build this bumper for half the price of buying one already put together. A um, couple things, they send an envelope full of uh, the brochure, the receipt, um, important read this, uh, thank you for your order, pretty awesome, and then a really cool sticker, born to build, that's the way we are. That's the way we do what we do. We build, right? We're builders. Anyway, um, all the brackets. This one, uh, I had it made so that uh, I could mount my winch in there. Um, and then it's got the rings. I believe these mount on something, something like that. So every piece is cut like perfectly and uh, no sharp edges it looks like. Everything's ground off, polished, not polished, but uh, sanded down so that nothing's going to cut me. Um, and, uh, yeah, so all I have to do is use my mad welding skills to put this baby together. And then uh, I'll take you out here and show you the front of the excursion. I just finished putting the new grill on um, last weekend, but uh, yeah, there it is minus the bumper so let's do this hey so we brought the excursion in to the garage let me show you fold the tow hooks off got some space cleared up got the grinder out I started fitting these pieces together the bracket pieces that uh, they go together to bolt this whole thing onto the excursion and realized that these these corners right here need to be uh, cut a little bit straighter for it to go a little bit smoother together, it looks like. So we're going to hit it with the grinder and uh, get her done. rounded off I mean uh, squared off we got the instructions out here I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, <clears throat> it doesn't seem too complicated looks like we got this one that goes like that you might want to pick yourself up some of these you don't have them already.
So, uh, got this bolted up here kind of temporarily <clears throat> after we cut those straight. Um, this piece kind of goes in here like this. And then this piece here goes on here like this. And this piece right here is the part that welds to the face, the vertical face of that, the inside of the bumper itself, the front plate. Um, this part here is the part you're going to want to make sure that is, is perfectly plumb with your rig uh, when you uh, start tacking this together. So I'm going to get some assistance uh, tacking it together and we'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, hey, so let's turn that off so we can hear. Um, what we got here is uh, we initially bolted. I guess I can't bring that over here, but we bolted this piece into the um, the tube, the frame tube, and then we put this piece on and we made sure the rig was level, put a level on it back there in the, on the, actually the running board to make sure we we're level. And then we stuck a, another level on this piece here, leveled that up, um, tack welded this piece on, and then installed this back piece, this piece right here, which is gonna go on the other side installed that piece in and that piece actually bolts back to where the original bumper would have bolted on and uh, and push that tight weld that tacked it all together and um, that's where we're going to sit right now i'm going to do the other one and then we're going to hold that uh, the front piece up and see what it looks like. all right what we got is uh we put this uh, this big middle piece up here, uh, held it up there. Definitely don't want to try and do it by yourself. It's really heavy and awkward. Um, we held it up there, kind of got an idea of where we wanted it. Put this uh, box thing underneath it and a two by four. And uh, the gap between here was just a little too much. So then we added a piece of three quarter ply, got it up to about where we wanted it, made sure it looked level and pretty good, appeasingly to the eyes. Uh, kind of matches the gap on top of the grill to the bottom of the grill that kind of thing um, we like it so uh, we uh, went ahead and oh also before we went ahead and tacked it on um, we grabbed the side pieces kind of put threw them up here looked at where they were going to go got an idea of how we might want to adjust it uh, maybe cut this and tweak it a little bit um, to make it work with uh, the headlights and the grill that we got on here. And uh, we decided that we like where it is. We welded it on or tacked it on at least and uh, are gonna move forward. We're also gonna take the tubes um, before we get too much farther, the tube that goes up here and then uh, down to the side, make sure it's all gonna look um, decent uh, before we go ahead and, and get this piece tacked on too. Anyway, that's where we're at. Okay, hey, so, we had last uh, we had this on. We put these up here. This gap was a little big. We put these mocked these up on the sides. These pieces on the sides um, that come back to the tire, and uh, it looked like this piece was starting to go down. Um, so at that point, it was either we weld it together and we don't like it for the rest of our lives, or we tear it all apart. So uh, we broke these back off. We cut the welds on the backs of the brackets back here, pulled this piece off, um, shaved them back a little bit so that we could roll this whole thing uh, forward just a little bit to get rid of the gap up here and make this line match the body. <clears throat> we managed to get that all up there. Um, and at that point I decided that I wanted to put this piece and this piece together all the way across on the ground and then pick the whole thing up, put it on here and move it around, tipping it so that these pieces lined up good. Um, it was a little bit of work, it's kind of heavy, and uh, but I think in the end made everything look good and we're gonna like it for, for a while and we're not gonna be complaining, so that's where we're at. All right, so what we got now, let's turn that off. We had the whole thing welded up. We went ahead and we put this bar up here in the front. It comes without copes on the ends of it. So you gotta cope the ends of it to fit whatever, however you wanna put it on. And you can adjust it this direction, however you wanna put it. Um, so we set it up there and we made some marks. 
we cut it once both sides we held it up there we didn't really like it so then we adjusted a little bit made some new marks coped it again and uh and then put it up there and tacked it and stood back and looked at it making sure that it lines up with the grill and then also the gap here and here are even so that everything matches uh and parallel so um, we like it. We tacked it on a, uh, a little bit more permanently and now we're gonna start working on the bars that come off the sides here. So working on these tubes coming off the sides, we knew going into it, it was gonna be kind of a pain to get it matched up. Um, we started with that side. We got it lined up on both ends, coped it and put it on so that it matches kind of the headlight line, kind of flat. Um, then we came over to this side and started working this one. This one took four times as long as it did to do that one, trying to get this to blend together and, and look right. So anyway, we got it on. It's about uh, 10.45 tonight. So I've been working on this for, I don't know, roughly three hours, I guess. Um, anyway, it's all well, it's all tacked together. Uh, tomorrow uh, we'll go through and 100% weld everything and take it off and weld the backside and clean it up and grind it and make it look pretty and then uh, put some paint on it. So. That's the move bumper build. I think it's gonna be awesome. Thanks. Okay, hey, we're back. Um, it's Sunday now. I pulled it, pulled the uh, whole bumper uh, back off, and uh, got it sitting in here on the sh in the shop on some sawhorses, and uh, you can see the inside brackets. These are the brackets that go into the into the frame rail, and then everything else is. Uh, I gave everything another good little tack before I pulled it off just to make sure it wasn't going to fall apart when I brought it in the garage here but um, this is where we're at now we're gonna I'm gonna solid weld everything on the inside and then flip it over and solid weld everything on the outside and uh, a couple keys or a key to remember here is that uh, you don't want to weld everything 100% solid on one side um, because when the uh, metal heats up and cools it will sh pull it and shrink it to one side and you'll start getting some tweakage so anyway that's what we're gonna do right now and uh, hopefully I get to put it back on the rig here real soon and show you the finished product Okay, here we are. We got her done and uh, apologize for the missing video in between, but um, got everything all finished, welded up, grinded all the corners down as smooth as I could. I'm not like the best welder by any means, but uh, uh, it all turned out pretty well. These coped, these coped corners uh, on the tube are definitely the hardest uh, for me at least. Um, just because of the fit and everything but uh, we got that we got the tow hooks welded on pretty nice bead on that got the winch mounted inside and um, all the lines look pretty good we I was having a trouble deciding what color to paint it I thought about just buffing out the steel but uh, we decided just to go with flat black for now we can always change your mind later if we want to um, anyway that's it it looks pretty dang good um, I like it a lot don't have the winch cable in it yet but uh, soon to be coming and then oh uh, one other thing that I did add to it was underneath here on the excursion at least this bar right here comes out another couple of inches and uh, it spans between the frame rails um, I went ahead and I bought another piece of steel just a flat stock steel and welded it from the bumper down to that bar uh, just to secure the connection even better and then trimmed nipped off the end of that tube and then beefed it up with a little bit of welding um, I think that's gonna add a lot plus it adds kind of a skid plate type thing underneath 
uh, just so that nothing can get caught in there. Um, anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoy the bumper. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it already. Um, so there we are. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys uh, decided to go ahead and buy one yourself and uh, make it happen.